Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kerber Space Program. This is episode 3, and today we're going to retest the engines, the Scramjet Ramjet engine hybrid. And therefore, I have been doing a little development, and I've built another craft, which I'm going to load now, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It's called Sonic Hunter Mark II. And it looks like this. It features 12 engine in 12 intakes, a total of, as you can see, has four of the engine hybrids and two turbojets. And I actually tested it beforehand just to make sure that we're not going to get another failure like in the last episode. Everything is preset. You don't need to watch it all again. I also set up the control the action groups. It's not a complicated craft. Yeah. And Yeah, let's launch it. Um yeah, you can see the already the aircraft I tested in, the Sonic Hunter Mark II, is always is already on the runway. So yeah, it was a previous flight, the test flight in which I made sure it works properly and doesn't perform as yeah, not completely well as I thought Sonic Hunter Mark One would perform. So this is Sonic Hunter Mark II, and yeah, let's lift off, and I'm going to see you once we get really fast and really high. I'm not going to give to keep you with me on the boring ascent up into the sky. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Well, we've now made it through the first four, almost four minutes of flight time and are almost through the sound barrier. And at this point, I'll take your time and talk about a couple of things. Point one, I've decided where I want to go with the series. I'll make it, I'll upload two episodes a week, probably one on Monday and one on Friday, I don't know yet, but I'll make two episodes a week, and I believe that's gotta be good enough. This way, I'm not stressed out too much, because I'm relatively busy, and this way, you people watching me also get enough content, so that you're not bored. Um, and also, I've also done a little bit of craft development, as you can see with this craft here. It flies fairly well. I was very much surprised on how stable it flew. Flew the last, the first time I've tested it, and also it flew very stable on my first really sonic, f supersonic run, or how you, however you call it. It maneuvers quite well. As you can see, it doesn't have the roll rate I want it to have, but that's not a problem. Not everything can perform as well as you want it to do a first try, and let's face it, we are still very early in our Let's Play, and therefore I don't really see a point into putting that much of time into developing perfectly built crafts. That's not a goal I have at this point. I'm just testing stuff, the engine hybrids and things, how, how it performs, how it handles. And I don't really want to progress too fast because all the people that are going to watch me, all of you, 
you might not be very experienced in the game or even have done the things I do and if I progress too quickly I'm going to give you the opportunity to learn with me if that makes any sense um, at this point I'll also talk about I'll make a tutorial video I know I promised it three episodes ago about Kerbis based program and I know I still haven't done so but I will and I will go over what my install is about, what Kerbis based program is about and all the things and stuff you need to know to play it properly and we'll have a good time there um, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll probably upload that with this episode because I actually pre-produced this episode here and it will go up on Friday so I have enough time to make another episode as well um, right now I'm going to arrest the climb rate because we're getting quite fast and you notice up here the bar of intake air it's depleting or it was rather until we stopped climbing and if it gets too low my engines will flame out and having a flame out is not fun in Kerbis based program I gotta say that we're still losing altitude hmm. that thing is obviously not as yeah oh yeah that was one of its downsides that it lost altitude very quickly or let's just say it it's very heavy it weighs 34 tons and therefore it's quite problematic if when the air gets thin to keep it going good and keep it flying very well um i'm not worrying about where i launched in the day well we'll, we'll just see how it goes and how fast we fly and this and that and that's it now it's time to add the ramjet and you'll immediately notice that we are going to accelerate really fast because they produce a lot of thrust already and now I'm going to shut off the turbojets because we don't need them any longer we can climb up I believe 25,000 meters or so oh well <laughs> we are already at 25,000 meters oh well who cares and we can then go quickly and as you immediately notice I have enough thrust on this design it accelerates not as fast as I well faster than I needed it to make but fast enough that it's a good enough design Ooh, we are having a flame out that was a close one yeah we <laughs> were already very high so no, wo no wonder we had a flame out um, let's watch it 0.7 intake air 0.6 intake air yeah <laughs> um, I'd say that's a pretty much the success we wanted to have um, Oops, I forgot to turn off the torque wheels and therefore we are using electricity should probably red let one of the engines run to recharge if it runs it doesn't oh well um, I hope you don't mind if I'll cut and cut away until we can switch engine modes if we even need to I don't think we do. We're accelerating fast enough. We are flying good enough. 
We're losing altitude a bit, but that's not something I worry about at this point. Um, yeah, probably I'm quick enough to change the engine mode. Let's see. Ah, no. Nah. It still is too low. It's not. We're accelerating on ramjets. That's interesting. Oh well. I'll see you once we get up to speeds we can reach orbits with. Because I know the engines can. Um, we're not flaming out yet. That's positive of a sign. We're accelerating. Quite good. I'm happy with this design. It's actually re revisited how I'm obviously doing it again. Far better than I thought it would be. I gotta say. I thought this would perform much poorer. Uh oh. Uh, that had to happen. Dang it. Come on, let me click the in button. Thank you. Well, as you noticed, we had a flame out, and that quite wasn't what that what was supposed to happen, and therefore everything is going haywire now. Need to switch engine modes. Push on the thrust button. And we're now going to get... Hey! What's the point? Uh, where... Why is it not working as it's supposed to do? Pitch damper is online. I hate it when that happens. Oh well. It's not working as it's supposed to work. It does. I'm surprised. Okay. We got it back under control. Yes! Put on this... Those scram... The turbo jets. This is what happens if you fly too aggressively at very high altitudes. So, for record, well, don't do that. Um... I'm gonna land this now. Um, I think we highlighted that the... Nah, we didn't. I didn't test it fully. I think we highlighted that the engine is fairly altitude capable and speed capable. And... I'm fairly happy. I'll, I'll catch you again once we... Yeah, are at the same position as we flamed out and can go bang four bucks again, if this is how you say it. <laughs> oh well. Okay, once again we're on route to success. I, as you saw, as you saw, we managed to recover from our flat spin we put ourselves in with the flame out, and we're once again on route to gaining speed and altitude and going very quickly. Oops, it was the wrong key. Uh, the thrust of key is the X key, and the reset trim key is you push out the Alt key and the X key. Uh, we are flaming out again. Ah. And if you push, if you forget to push the Alt key when you want to reset your trim, trim is basically the Alt. Uh, yeah. Trim means that you preset your control surfaces in a basic way. And I preset it to pitch up so that the nose don't doesn't go down. Which it does because I made it that way so it always would point more or less into the direction I was flying. And since it's designed that way, I needed to put a trim on it and 
yeah, this is why it went a little haywire -ish. every time I flame out. For some reason, the flame out animation is not working or showing as it's intended. Well, I still need to work on the engine, it seems. Well, but it's not the problem. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. It's supposed... It behaves as it's, as it's supposed to behave. It flies quick, stable, and quick. There's nothing else you have to say about it. Except if you flame out. Which I just did again. Nah. Oh well. There's nothing you can do against that. Which of the engines is not working as it's intended to? I don't know. 57, 57, 57, 57. I don't know what the, the point is. Oh well. We just now got into orbit. That's what the camera change meant. We need to watch our air. Our apparatus is rising. We can... We're thrusting along. We're flying quite quickly. I think that's a fairly good design improvement over the last design. S performance. Um, well... I'm gonna complete one orbit, if you don't have anything to say against that. And, nah, I'm not. We know it can get quick enough. I'm just gonna cut the engines. I'm gonna turn around 180 degrees. And then I'm going to pitch down. So that we don't get into orbit. And we can then land. Um, I'll catch you once we're g probably going to see the really, really gorgeous re-entry effects of the game. Um, till then, here they go. Oh, uh, no. Well, as you see, we're tumbling out of control. I don't know why. Um, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not also not what I wanted to do. Come on, stop tumbling, you bugger of a plane. Ah, there it is. It's actually normalized again. Well, for some reason we don't didn't really see enough re-entry effects. Or as much as I hope we would. Let's put on the wing leveler and hope we don't trash our plane with it. Thrust up, push on the other type of engine. And I'm going to turn around and land in daylight. Cause landing on the night side is dumb. Yeah. I'll see you once we can attempt a daylight landing. It seems... We're now approaching sunrise. So, I've successfully, successfully turned around. And next thing we're gonna do is find a spot to land. I'm adjusting my trajectory somewhat to get a better landing spot. Um, that looks fine. Um, yeah. I'll see you once we get to a landing, or near it. Till then. Okay, I see some hopefully promising s land ahead. Let's cut the engines and cruise in. Whew. That's hopefully sw going to work. I plan on landing somewhere here. Um, I don't know if this will work as I intended to be working, but we'll see. Okay. This is our last approach. Uh, 
cut the engines, get out the gear. Um, did I put on the landing lights? I don't know. Check that. Yep, landing lights are on. And let's cruise in for our landing. Let's hope we don't smash anything, don't break anything. And hope that everything turns out fine and as fine and dandy as we intended to. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was a close one. Phew. <sighs> We've managed a landing. I think that's a fairly successful test run for our engines. And I think that's all I'm going to show you guys on video this time. Um, I'm for Prince Kerman, head of piloting and chief engineer of this a air and space program. Um, yeah, have a nice day. Uh, if you like, yeah, leave some feedback also how you think the episode was. Type suggestions in the comments how you think I can improve myself and stuff and yeah I'll be bringing you these episodes twice a week probably on Monday and Friday I'm not quite sure though so the next episode is probably going up on Monday though yeah this is something I've not yet decided on it may be change but that's all I'm going to rant or say for now have a nice day. And if you ever plan on flying Kerberspace program like I do, fly safe.